Hey everybody, Richard Mitchell from Joystick.com. We're going to unbox the new Xbox 360. And that's just what it's called. It's not 360 Slim or anything. It's in this beautiful black box. And in Christmas tradition, I'm going to rip it open. I'm not going to scream Nintendo 64, I'm sorry. All right. and the bow's just taped on. That's a trick of grandmother pros everywhere. No one likes a ribbon that's tied on. Remember that. All right. So there's the new box. Let's take a look at some of these logos over here. 250 gig hard drive, wireless controller, composite cable, only composite, no HDMI or anything like that. Headset, it's got that wireless in, a one year warranty. It's no longer a three year warranty. So you get a one year warranty and that's it. Uh, some new accessories, pretty much like the old one, the black chat pad, the black wireless headset. Uh, the controller has a shinier guide button, which we'll see in a minute. Uh, it's Xbox Live social stuff, your Facebooks and your Twitters, HDMI, wireless in, all that stuff. And we have some very happy people on the back playing the system. This guy looks a little nervous, though. And then these people are just going nuts. So let's, let's open it up and check it out. And they didn't give us a knife. Okay. So... This is, this is how you install your Xbox. You know how to do this stuff. So let's just throw that away. I'll get rid of that. Uh, this is high quality foam. This is good stuff. You could save this. It's like a snowshoe, maybe. Alright. Nice static resistant wrapping here. And there is your new Xbox 360. There's a fingerprint magnet. <laughs> uh, you've got the two USB ports here. This is the new sync button. So it's how you sync your controllers up. These are all touch sensitive buttons, which we'll see in just a second. Spinning around here. Here's your ports on the back. HDMI, AV, uh, optical out, power button. Now this right here, this is a special port just for the Kinect. Uh, if you have an old Xbox 360, which they're now calling 360 original, you actually have to have a dongle and it has a separate power supply. But if you have one of these new Xbox 360s, you just plug it into that port and it'll work out of the box. Three USB ports, Ethernet, you're used to that. Flip it over and spin around this way. And this is where the hard drive goes now. See the little switch right here. Pull that. This pops out. 250 gig hard drive. Just pull the ribbon, it comes out. This is a proprietary hard drive. Uh, they're not talking about selling bigger ones, but obviously that's kind of what you think would happen. So if you had dreams of popping in your own uh, 2.5 inch drive, you're kind of out of luck uh, until someone figures out how to do it, of course. Pop that back in there. <laughs> or not. There we go. Take a look at the power cable. It's new. They've changed it so it has that double prong design now. Pop that in there. Oh, speaking of which, new power supply. It's a little bit smaller. It doesn't have the grill and the vents on it like the other one did. It has a couple little ones. Uh, not sure if there's a fan in there or not. Standard AV cable. See if this is turned on properly. You can check out the touch sensitive buttons here. Caps out. And they gave us Alan Wake, which you should play if you haven't, because it's great. Yeah, now they're gonna make me change the input myself. There it is. Alright. This is boring Xbox setup stuff, but so there's the controller, it's not synced up. So sync buttons. Get it all going. Now we probably don't need to see all this. Um, the new dashboard that they showed at the press conference is not on these units yet. And it's not clear if they're gonna be at retail or if you're gonna have to download it. You're probably gonna have to download it though, because it doesn't look like they're actually in here. Um, I guess we can see what else is in the box. There's a headset. It's just a black headset, just like the one you had before. 
There's your controller and the AB cable. You know, I take it back. This is boring. But they're free. I also want to check that out. It's really shiny and silver and pretty. And that's pretty much your new Xbox, which I just caused an error on because I dropped that controller on the other one. So that's your new Xbox 360. And uh, oh, they are going to sell data transfer cables. If you have an old Xbox, uh, they're going to start selling those cables at retail. Uh, they said for $19.99. Should be available around the time that the new Xbox 360 is. You'll plug the cable into your old hard drive, plug it into the USB slot here, and it just works. You don't need extra software on a disc or anything. It should just work. And that's your new Xbox.